Hello, my name is Livio Bolson. I'm one of the co-founders of Codemoji. And today I'm going to walk you through the double JS lessons. These are a step up from our JS beginner lessons that you can see right here. These go over very similar concepts but are a little more complex and add multiple sequences running at the same time. These are designed to help the students better understand some of the concepts that they went over in the beginning JS lessons, but also to be more complex and harder moving forward. So now we're going to jump into those lessons. So right here you can see the structure is very similar to our beginning JS lessons. And basically they're going to follow a very similar structure and theory, but they're going to be a little bit more complex. So basically our theory is if a web page were a house, functions would be the application within the house, or also known as the appliances inside the house. So functions allow a web page to perform tasks. Basically, if you submit a form, a contact form, that is done through JavaScript um, with an HTML as the design code. So now we are going to go over this course really quickly. And you can see we have the instructions here in text to speech as always in our beginning lesson. So in the very first lesson, it's telling us to drag the rotate into both the first sequence container and the second sequence container. And this will have the two of our characters rotate. So these ran at the exact same moment um, because that is how they're structured. It. So our second lesson is going to have us do very similar to what the students did in the first lesson. And now we're going to use two move functions on the two different sequences. So we can see we just moved the panda and the bamboo and Dino over. Uh, to be specific, we moved them 100 pixels horizontally, 100 pixels vertically, and it took them 1.5 seconds. So these lessons are just meant to show that we can have two different applications or two things running at the same time. So your task is now to drag a scale function from the action container into both the sequence containers. Once you have finished your task, hit run and see what happens. So now we are dragging two uh, scale functions into the first and second sequence container. And now once we run it, you will see Bamboo and Dino uh, scale up. So the scale is really designed to show that characters can grow based on uh, right in this case, uh, scale 1.5, so the character is going to expand or grow 1.5 their initial state. So we can see they just grew uh, to 1.5 their initial state. And they're a little bit more in our face now. So your task now from lesson four of the double. Uh, JS is to double skew. So now we are going to double skew our characters. So we can see we just skewed both of our characters. To be specific, we skewed them 30 degrees horizontally, 30 degrees vertically, and it took us 1.5 seconds to run those functions. Now we're going to have both of our characters talk. Both of our characters said hello world, because that's what we instructed them to do. Here, the color we defaulted to was blue, and the time it took was 1.5 seconds. So now we are going to have some different things happen to our uh, different sequence containers. So in this, you, we are going to drag in the row page. Uh, contain uh, the rotate function into the sequence container and 
both of them. Then we're going to click on the first sequence container and change the rotate uh, to 720 degrees. Once you have finished your task, you can hit run build. So we are going to drag this in there and this into here. If we run it and it's wrong, oh no, we have to change the sequence to 720. And let's see if that's right. Oh, that's correct. So now we can show what happened. Boom. So we can see in the first sequence container, it rotated twice, and the second one, it only rotated once. So as we check back here, it says in the first sequence container and change rotate. So now we're going to have our characters play tag. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to drag two move functions into both the first and second sequence container. And then we're going to change the top option of the first sequence container to have be 400 pixels. Once you've done this, run your code. So the first option, now we're going to change this to 400. We can see that our characters now have just played tag. So now we are going to take our scale functions and the action container into both sequence containers. Do not change any values of the actions you're having you've had you've added to the container once you have finished and run your So now we are going to add a skew, and first you are going to click on the skew in the first sequence container, change the top option to 60, then select on the second sequence container and hit the middle option and click 60 as well. See, we take the first option, which is horizontal, change it to 60, hit the middle option, that is vertical and change it to C. So here we have just changed our vertical, our vertical, vertical and horizontal for the very first one are 60 and 30. For the second one, it is reversed at vertical 60, horizontal 30. And this makes the character disappear. Your task now is to click on the talk function once you drag it into the first sequence container and write, my name is Bamboo, and it is case sensitive. Then click on the, the talk in the second sequence and change the top option to, my name is Dino. Again, it is, um, it needs to be capitalized where it says. Once you have finished, run your task. So you can just drag them both in, boom, boom. Changes to my name is Bamboo. Now we change this to my name is Dino. Dino. Let's see if we spelled that right. So we did not spell Dino right. Dino has two E's. So we just go back in, we change that. And now we run it, and we can see that Bamboo said his name was Bamboo, and Dino said his name was Dino. So your task is to now drag a rotate and a move function from the actions container into both the first and second sequence container. So rotate, move. Rotate, move. Once we've done that, we can see we just made them both rotate and move. So for lesson 12, we are now going to add two functions again. Boom, boom. Basically, we are adding two 
scales one to the first sequence container, one to the second sequence container, and a skew to the first sequence container, and a skew to the second sequence container. This is now understanding that we can run multiple functions and actions at one time. So we can see first the two characters scaled and then they both skewed. So now we are going to have our characters rotate and then talk. Now we'd have had both of our characters rotate and talk. So again, this is going over a very similar concept of multiple actions working together and multiple functions. So this, this course is really just to try to reinforce the concepts we covered in the beginning JS in a little bit more complex way and to change up the lessons a little bit. So now we are going to add three functions really quickly here, both sequence containers. We can see that was pretty fun. You can see as it's going line by line, you can see which function is running at which moment. So the last one is we're going to add five. We're going to add all these into each, each container at once. It can get a little messy. So you got to be a little careful as there's a lot going on in this one. So after we've done all that, we can view our basically our functions. So once you've done all that, your, your lesson and your course is now complete. You can have the students go back to their dashboard and complete some more lessons if they would like. So this has been our tutorial of the JS double lessons. And please feel free to reach out to us if you have any questions. And we hope you enjoy.